Hi everyone, this is DevTalk with FK, and today we're going to be looking at five books every developer needs to read. Now, I love books, one of my biggest investment uh, books, and today I'm going to be running you through books that will take you from being just a developer to thinking like an engineer. Now, these are not your typical HTML, CSS, or JavaScript books, but these books are books that are important, especially when you are a self-taught developer. These books are going to help you to think like an engineer, to think like a problem solver. So, let's dive in. So, the first book we're going to be looking at is this book titled How Computers Really Work. Now, if you're like me and you were just thrown into programming without understanding computer fundamentals, this is a book that is going to fix that. You want to learn things about memory management, garbage collection, how the operating system works, how uh, servers work. This is the book for you. This book will teach you about how data types are formed from bits and bytes and help you plug all the holes you have in your computer knowledge, especially when you don't come from a computer background. I didn't study computer engineering. I studied mechanical engineering. And this book, this book helped me fix all the problems I was having with fundamental concepts in computer science so if you want to know how computers really really work how the internet works how the operating system works this book is a must read i recommend this book you see i started with this book this is the very first book on the list this is a must read for everybody whether you're a developer or a web developer this book should be a book that you have to consume i finished this entire book so you most likely do the same so the next book we're going to be looking at is this book called http the definitive guide now a lot of us when we started web programming we just started learning html css and javascript but we didn't get to learn about fundamental web concepts such as cookies sessions caching connection management and a host of other things browser networking this book is going to help you fix all that i recommend this for every developer that has anything to do with the web some of the chapters include urls and resources uh, understanding HTTP messages, the architecture of web servers, proxy, gateways, and all sort of stuff. This is the Bible of the web. It teaches you about HTTP, which is the protocol of the web. And as a web developer or anyone that has, any developer that has anything to do with the web, this book has to be on your shelf. And just like every book I've been reviewing, you can find the link in the description. Now, this third book has a very interesting backstory. So there was a time in my career that I thought I was very good at my job. I could code complex applications, build complex functionality. But then I started running out of some problems that I could not figure out. I, and it started when I started building applications that thousands and tens of thousands of people would use. Before I was building applications for hundreds of people, probably uh, staff within a building. But when I started building applications that a whole lot of people were going to use, I started running into these problems. And I could not code my way out of the problem. Thinking back now, I wish I had this book, Web Scalability for Startup Developers. This book taught me everything I needed to know about web scalability, scaling applications horizontally, scaling applications vertically, stuff about load balancers, message queues, asynchronous processing, and even architectures that support or rather architectures for very scalable applications this book taught me everything i need to know and as a beginner this book takes a beginner approach to teaching you about web scalability and if you don't want your applications to crash i advise that you get this book you might not even be the one responsible for scaling the app but just to know about the steps you need to take to make sure you build scalable applications startup developers or rather web scalability for startup engineers a must read if you care about scalability, which, which you should. Now to the big leagues. This fourth book will help you understand all about distributed architectures. Almost every architecture today is distributed. And you may have been hearing several buzzwords such as service discovery, load balancers, microservice architecture, event driven architecture, and all these words make your head hot. This book is going to help you make sense of everything. Almost every modern application is distributed because these days we are talking to like five, seven different APIs and we need a lot of scalability to undo millions and tens of millions of users that are using applications today. This book will help you understand things like um, Kubernetes, what is it used for, why are we using containers today, and why uh, do we need a lot of um, resilience and fault tolerance built into our application. This book, distributed, Understanding Distributed Systems, will help you understand how distributed systems are built and the principles for building 
applications that are distributed, scalable, and fault tolerant. And just as any other book that I've been talking about so far, you can also find the link in the description. Now, this final book is for anyone interested in web architectures. Like I said from the previous book, today we are building distributed applications with a lot of fault tolerance and scalability. You want to learn from other people's mistakes when you are building such applications. You don't want to learn from your own mistakes. That's why we need ar architectures. You've heard of different types of architectures, so that, such as service-based architectures, microservices, microservices architecture, um, event-driven architecture. This book I consider the ultimate guide to architectures because you're going to learn all that it means to be an architect, what the architect role is all about, principles that architects are supposed to work by, and then dive into different types of ar architectures that we have today, micro kernel architecture, event-driven architecture. There's so much amazing architecture knowledge in this book. And if you have an interest in building applications that are very, very maintainable and scalable, you want to get this book. Even if you are not going to be an architect just to understand how it works or make it a reference for learning different types of architectures, you want to have this book. I don't consider this one compulsory, but like I said, for the reasons I just mentioned, you want to also check out this book. And you can also find the link in the description. So that's all folks. Those are the books that have helped me to think more as a problem solver and not just a developer that will just take requirements and develop applications. And if you have noticed uh, by my left hand side here, I have this book holder. This is the book holder I used to read, especially when I need to use my hands to do some other thing when I'm reading. So uh, you have this adjustable uh, back and you also have clips in the front that help you hold the books in place. So, it's just a side attraction. If you're interested in this, I've also put the link in the description. But that's by the way, like I said, these five books, especially the first three, are going to help you to be a much better developer or web developer. I've had a lot of people ask me, how do I go from junior developer to senior developer? This is one of the ways that you can achieve that by more knowledge, by understanding the fundamentals better. And when you do that, the limit is beyond the skies.